success and uh, let me take this opportunity to thank the people behind this mission the project director of chandrayaan 3 he is here veera mutuvel congratulations to you the associate director kalpana and the mission operations director uh, srikant and the satellite was built at your rao satellite center shankar and the director It's a great moment of uh, happiness on behalf of team. Uh, it gives me immense satisfaction on achieving this goal as a project director of this mission. Uh, the entire mission, uh, the entire mission operations, right from launch till landing, happened flawlessly as per the timeline, and we became the fourth country to land to demonstrate the soft landing onto the moon surface, and we became the first country to go to the near to the south pole of the moon. I take, this I take this opportunity to thank navigation guidance and control team, propulsion team, sensors team and all the mainframe subsystems team who have brought success to this mission. I also take the opportunity to thank the critical operations review committee for thoroughly reviewing the mission operations right from launch till this date. The target was on spot because of the review process. I also thank the ISRO IR management right from Chairman ISRO, Director URSC and all the center directors and higher ISRO officials. And my finally, my thanks to the Chandrayaan 3 project executives spread, spread across the ISRO centers. Thank you. Mission Director Srikant. It gives me an immense pleasure to be part of Chandrayaan 3 and acting as Mission Director. I would like to thank each and every team member who has supported uh, in carrying out all the mission operations flawlessly and uh, the, I would like to thank my senior management chairman ISRO, head URSC, my senior colleagues and my team members for carrying out and supporting all the things in a carrying out in a proper way. Thank you very much. Associate Project Director Kalpana. Good evening to all. This will remain the most memorable and the happiest moment for all of us, for our team, Chandrayaan 3. <clears throat> we, have achieved, we have achieved our goal flawlessly from the day we started rebuilding our spacecraft after Chandrayaan 2 experience. It has been breathe in, breathe out Chandrayaan 3 for our team. And uh, starting from the reconfiguration to all the special tests and the simulations we have conducted meticulously and this has been possible only because of our immense effort from our Chandrayaan 3 team and of course with the, with the guidance with the guidance from our chairman ISRO, our directors and all our experts with all this it has been possible Thank you one and all. Thank you for all the minutest help which has been provided from all the areas of uh, departments. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Chandrayaan 3 is a result of the work done by thousands of scientists, engineers, our staff and industries and support team across ISRO and other places, other institutions. And Shankaran has been the lead of the center which you know integrated all of these efforts from the last so many years so i request him to speak on behalf of all of you thank you very much for the affection that has been displayed today now. Today, uh, we have achieved what we set out to achieve in 2019. It was delayed by about four years, but we have done it. When uh, Chandrayaan 3 was launched, after the separation of the spacecraft from 
launch vehicle, I said, I will speak the rest of the things after the soft landing. So he will, here I will take a couple of minutes to tell the tremendous amount of effort that has been put in by the entire project team. When I say project team, it is not just only uh, the project director and uh, associate project director, of course, they are the face of the project. They have been living, sleeping, eating, breathing Chandrayaan for the last four years. They have been supported by such a large number of people, particularly in their navigation, guidance and control area, propulsion system. This area the amount of effort that has been put by people, the number of simulations that have been done, the number of reviews they have gone through, the amount of criticism they faced and uh, overcome that. It is, uh, I, as a person who has been watching this for the last four years along with them, my heart feels, my heart goes out for them. The amount of effort is tremendous. That is what ISRO is all about. That is what our organization has taught us to do. Now today this success has put us even more higher responsibility as the Honorable Prime Minister was telling because we have set the bar now so high. Nothing, nothing less than nothing less spectacular than this is going to be inspiring for any, any of us in the future. So as the Honorable Prime Minister mentioned, we will, we will be now looking at putting the man in uh, space, putting a spacecraft around uh, Venus and landing a craft in uh, Mars. Work on all these activities are going on for a few years. And uh, this success today will inspire us and will spur us to take those efforts even more strongly so that we will make our country proud again and again and again. Thank you very much for every one of you who have directly or indirectly participated in this mission, encouraged us, intentionally or unintentionally helped us in, in all, 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 for every one, of, every one of you. A big thank you because even, even a, a casual remark, an unintended point, can, can help a person who is uh, striving to reach a goal. It, the person who is making that remark may not have meant it that way, but sometimes it can ignite a... a that's why I, I said that even unintended help is, uh, is very, very, very uh, welcome, and we are very, very thankful for that. Thank you, Team ISRO, for uh, supporting all of us. The amount of affection I, we received when this mission came into this final stage, the number of people who gave us confidence that nothing can go wrong and uh, this is going to be successful. The amount, the, in fact, I was not that much confident because uh, we have seen a couple of times uh, issues because I, I know very well as a, as a person who has been doing in this, uh, in this domain for 36 years, I know there are thousands of things, any of that could uh, can anytime go wrong and derail but so many of the people because that I only see as the reflection of the effort we have put that people are so, so, so happy to see this effort and they want us to succeed. It is not that uh, we are, they know that we are going to succeed. The people want us to succeed. So thank you very much for uh, everyone for your love and affection. We will continue to do our best and make our flag fly. ISRO's as well as India's flag fly high. Thank you very much. Honorable, Honorable Prime Minister called me and conveyed his greetings to each one of you, you and your family for the wonderful work you did in ISRO. Uh, so thank, uh, thanks are to him for the support that he is giving to us for missions like Chandrayaan 3 and the missions that are in the offing. I think that's a great word of you know, comfort that we are receiving for pursuing the inspirational work that we are doing for the nation.
I want to tell you and I want to thank you also for each and everyone who prayed with us in the last many days, uh, who wanted this uh, success to happen in Israel. I thank all those people in all around the country and maybe beyond the country for their blessings and wishes and, and affection that he has given to each one of us for doing this work for the last so many years. I want to specifically thank uh, some senior people who have been standing with us, especially the name of Kiran Kumasa. <clears throat> And Mr. Kamalakar.